arrived at the Edinburgh Waverley Station. I've been before to Edinburgh, but I think the last time my perception of Edinburgh was a little bit uh, not too good. I mean, it was good. I really liked it, but I feel like my sister will like it a lot because it's a historical city and it does look straight out of like a Harry Potter movie. Uh, we are very hungry. First thing that we're gonna do is we will eat something, and uh, we have a ghost tour planned at 7:30. Uh, I'm gonna uh, link that ghost tour in the description because it's one of the best tours I have ever done, and I hope my sister also likes it. So off to eat something. We're gonna check in into our hostel. Our hostel is right in on Princess Street, which is amazing. It's just three minutes walk from the station and other things. So we'll see how if, if this one is as good as the last hostel that we stayed it in Inverness, and we're gonna have so much fun today. This is our room. This is the Princess Street Hostel, and although it is right on the you know, near the station. Uh, the rooms are very compact. Uh, and it's a six six bed dorm, all female dorm. Uh, we were just gonna stay the night, so it's fine. Uh, we're just gonna come here and sleep. Uh, nothing too special, but definitely the one that we had at Iverness was so much better than this because it was also a private room. Uh, but anyhow, because Edinburgh is such a big city, it is the capital city of Scotland and uh, the amount of tourists that visit this country uh, this city is crazy even uh, while walking from the station to uh, just the hostel it was crazy busy uh, we're just looking forward to eating something and then we'll set about the city tour Everything that you might want to see is just through those gates there. So We ended our tour at we ended our ghost tour at the Greyfriars Kirkyard, and this is my second time taking a ghost tour in Edinburgh, and I did it with the same company. I'm going to link it in the description. Every time I have loved their tours, and uh, the last time that I did, I thought it get, could not get any better, but surprisingly, it did. This time around, the guide had such nice storytelling. I, I, I did not, you know, I was continuously just listening to what he was saying. And as usual, I like storytelling so much. Uh, and we ended it here uh, at this graveyard. Um, I am just like, I think this is one of the things that everyone should do. Uh, what a walking, free walking tour is basically, uh, you take the tour and you do not pre-book it, to, don't pre-pay it. You just pay it at the end of the tour, whatever you feel like. And uh, then uh, you can decide what it was worth to you. And uh, usually they are more interesting because uh, the monetary aspect of it is sort of detached from it. Uh, anyhow, I, enjoyed listening to the same stories again and there were other stories that were added to the tour i'm gonna go home and look up uh, certain things uh, regarding history or whatever i picked up from the tour to you know just enhance it more i'm always like really really uh, intrigued by all of these stories that come around and now right now we just head back to our hostels it's already 8 30 and it's late in the night uh, 
hopefully we're gonna have an early start tomorrow so that we can walk around the city and also see the edinburgh castle before we have to go back to london and uh, it's been a cold night but it was totally worth it This is day two of Edinburgh. Uh, we checked out from our hostel at around 10. It was like a lot of rush to do that. Uh, thankfully, we did it. Uh, we grabbed a quick breakfast from Sainsbury's because we had to walk up the hill. And now we are at the Carlton Hill. This is, of course, this gives a very beautiful view of the city. So we are here, we are taking some pictures and the weather seems to be nice today. Um, after this, we'll go into the city and uh, just see the main city during the day. Last night we did do, do a tour of the city, but it was dark, so you can't see all the monuments very clearly, although it looks very gothic in the night as well. Uh, so that's what we are gonna do now. This our Scotland trip is coming to an end. We are standing at the station. Uh, the last place we visited was the National Museum of Scotland. It, we didn't have a, a lot of time but we still really enjoyed it. And we are just waiting for a train. We thought we were going to be really late. Uh, but we are able to catch our train. It's right behind us. And we are well settled. Uh, we still have 10 minutes to go. 
um, the last thing that we did was grab some food on our way from McDonald's and as is the case we are trying to collect all the fridge magnets so we bought some souvenirs and now we are headed back to London it's going to be a four and a half hour uh, train ride and mostly we're going to sleep through it um, I'm really looking forward to my bed now because it has been really tired but the day was nice and it's suddenly sunny so we'll see uh, how the train ride goes back uh, home but nevertheless we're just gonna see that it was a fun uh, Scotland trip uh, so far and I hope my sister also liked uh, traveling with me although I could be a little bit annoying and I'm being the big sister that I am I tend to follow everything to the T but uh, anyhow I hope she had fun and I also had a lot of fun uh, thank you for watching uh, thank you for tuning in this vlog vlog so far and if you guys like such vlogs uh, let me know in the comments below I'm gonna be doing so much traveling in the months to come um, and I really want to document this journey as I like documenting everything so uh, let me know how you feel about these vlogs or I can improve these or not or if you liked it just comment like share subscribe and I'll see you guys next time